Hello, my name is Eric. I am an engineer here at Chemtrack. Today, I am going to introduce the concept of fluorescence, demonstrate how an oil leak can be detected in a process stream, and show you how to validate the Chemtrack FL007 fluorescence photometer. In the lab, I prepared a glass filled with dissolved fluorescine and one filled with dissolved quinine. My party UV light makes them give rise to a surprising physical phenomenon called fluorescence. Fluorescence happens when light is absorbed at one wavelength and is re-emitted at another, longer wavelength. Why did the tonic water turn blue? Because it also contains quinine, an aromatic molecule that will emit blue light after excitation by UV light. In the same way, mineral oils rich in aromatic content will also fluoresce when illuminated with UV light. Now let's imagine a scenario in which a leak of diesel oil in the process stream has occurred. A potential environmental catastrophe is in the making if we don't detect it at an early stage. Let's see how we can avoid this by using the Chemtrack FL007. I dip the probe in a bottle containing water and ensure the signals are at zero. I then add one drop of diesel in it. I now measure the signal. Success! We have detected the leak. How can we validate the analyzer to make sure that it is working correctly? The Chemtrack FL007 is equipped with a fluorescence probe that also measures turbidity, which enables the simultaneous measurement of it. Also, it comes delivered with two bottles of standard solutions to check that the instrument is operating within specification, one for fluorescence and one for turbidity. To validate, I start by thoroughly cleaning the probe with ethanol, especially the tip of it, and dry it. If the probe is dirty, you can use warm soapy water. Once the probe is clean, I dip it in a bottle of deionized water and check that both the fluorescence and the turbidity values are about zero. I then take out the probe and wipe away the water. I invert the bottle of phenantrine about 10 times before I dip the probe in it and ensure the fluorescence value is about 1 ppm. The turbidity value is zero because the chemical fluorescing is dissolved. And as you can see, the fluorescence value is at 1 ppm. Then, I take out the probe and clean it with ethanol.
Notice that this probe has the same dimension as a pH electrode, allowing a range of standard fittings and retractable probe holders to be used. I invert the bottle of Formacine about 10 times without shaking to prevent air from getting trapped in the liquid. The turbidity value is about 100 NTU. We can see that this solution has a small amount of fluorescence due to the Formacine which is normal. Non-mineral oils or oils low in aromatic content may not fluoresce sufficiently to detect oil leaks. However, they will give rise to turbid solutions that can readily be measured using the simultaneous stability measurement. This makes it also possible to know if the leak is due to a known product or something else. In summary, the Chemtrack FL007 is an awesome analyzer if you want to be able to detect oil leaks and avoid accidents affecting the environment. The hygienic probe is suitable for direct insertion into the process stream to safeguard contamination. To learn more about our analyzers, take a look at the other videos on our channel. Don't forget to leave comments and click the subscribe button to receive notifications for new videos on our products.